All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at BGP AdPath. And before I start configuring AdPath and showing you how it works, we first need to take a look at the current topology and see how BGP advertises um, prefixes by default. So in this network, we have two ASs. The first one is going to be very small. It's just six, which is AS6. And AS6 is peering with routers 5 and routers 4 that are in AS100 along with 1, 2, and 3. So routers 1 through 5 are in 100. Router 6 is in AS6. Within AS100, router 2 is our route reflector. And it is peering with all of the other routers within that AS. So what, what we should know is, is that router six is advertising one network, the all sixes slash 32, and it's advertising it to both four and five, which should be sending him to router two, our route reflector. So if we look on the route reflector, we can see that we have two paths to the network, to the all sixes network, one of them through five and one of them through four. Now our, our two, has chosen the best path to be the one through four. So we know that the default behavior of a route reflector is choose the best path and advertising it to the other clients, which in this case are, or in this case are routers one and router three. So if we choose router one and we do a show IP BGP, we can see that we're using the best path that was advertised to us, which is through four. Now here's what we could use the add path feature for. If we want our route reflector to add both of those routes to one, we can do that with add path. Before we configure the, you know, the actual advertisements though, we need to enable it on the routers um, through, because it's, it's done through a capabilities exchange. So remember that when BGP forms in a, in a it establishes a peering session, I should say, when it establishes it, it does the capabilities exchange, and one of those capabilities is additional paths. Now, from R1, if I do a show BGP IPv4 unicast neighbor, under the IPv4 unicast section, I should see the additional paths. Um, well, I would see it there if it was configured, I should say, and it's not. So right now we're we're not we're not telling each other, hey, you know, I could take additional paths, I could send it. So what I need to do is under R1, I'll go to router BGP one hundred, the address family of IPv4 Unicast. And here I set BGP additional paths. And we could do receive or send. There's some other options we'll get into a little bit later, but we could do receive or send. There's nothing wrong with doing both. But for this network, R1 is just going to be receiving additional paths from R2. So I'm going to do receive. Now I want to make note here that you could do this on the AF level like I just did, or you could do it on a per neighbor basis. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to do it as an AF level everywhere. So on R2, I need to go do the same thing. D. Address family, IPv4 unicast. And we're going to do BGP additional paths. And this time I'm going to do send. So if we go back to R1 and we take a look at the neighbor, we now see that send capability received. So R2 is telling us that it can send additional paths. And then we're advertising the receive capability. So we're telling R2 that we can receive additional paths. So once this is done, I still don't see the additional paths because I still have a couple more, more steps. The first one is to go to the route reflector, and I'm still under the address family, and I need to select the sets of paths to become candidate paths. So what this means is I'm just going to pick how many, you know, how many possible alternate or additional paths I can use. And then from the neighbor level, I'll show you what we're actually going to do for the advertising. 
So it might sound a little confusing, but if I do BGP additional paths select, you could see all backup best, best external group best. So if I select all, I'm selecting all available paths. Um, if I select best, I could just do an iOS, I could pick two or three possible paths. Now, I wanna make this kind of important here that if we restrict it here to two paths and then go to a neighbor and say, we wanna advertise all, it's not going to work. And I could show you that because if I say best two, I only want to be able to, you know, I'm selecting the best two as my candidate paths. And now if I go to my neighbor, which I'm using a peer group here for my route reflector clients, so I have to do it on the, the peer group. And I do advertise additional paths. You can see I have all best and group best. If I select all, iOS is gonna throw me an error. And it's gonna say, hey, at the AF level, you set it to be more restrictive than what you're doing. The advertising policy is this, the neighbor statement, with the advertise, that's considered the advertising policy. So the AF level additional path select command is more restrictive than what I'm trying to advertise. Therefore, if I go to R1 and I do another show IP BGP, sure enough, we're still only getting one because it, that doesn't work that way. So there are two ways I could do it. I could go to, um, I could, you know, Go to the neighbor and just say advertise additional paths best two or i could go back up to the af level and say select all and this might be preferred you know it's going to be different for your network obviously the common saying in networking is it depends but you know you might want to say hey at the af level i just want to select all and then i'll do different things for different neighbors so if i so in our case if i do select all and now I do a show run section router BGP. Um, I still, it still has select all best two. So what I actually need to do is I need to go here and say no best two. And now I have BGP additional paths select all. And then on the neighbor, I have additional paths all. And I can go to R1. And now you can see I have both routes. So if I went to R2 again, and I did neighbor RR client, advertise additional paths, best two, um, it's still giving me an error. And I think it just has to do with order of operations. Um, is either not configured. Okay, so this is a different one. So here, it's saying that the best path N is either not configured. So I do need to have that configured at both the AF level and the client. So I think what this, what I'm just trying to show you here is that it is well worth your time to just lab up all these weird things. Um, you know, I've, I've done it. I'm going to keep doing it before I take my CCIE lab, just, you know, come in here and, and play with different policies. Cause I, I could foresee that if you're sitting in the lab, you know, them saying, hey, advertise this many additional paths to a neighbor, but advertise these best paths to all the other neighbors. And you it might be very confusing and you might be wasting time versus just labbing this and taking a look at the different things. Now, if I do this and I go back to R1, it's still there. So in this case, it's not a big deal. But I think that's all I wanted to show you. I, I think the, the last part that I wanted to show you is if we look at the BGP table, you could see your candidate best path or additional paths because it'll have this little A here, which if you look in the status codes is additional paths. So to summarize, add path is a capabilities exchange. So you need to specify whether the, the device can receive or send add paths. Then you need to select your candidate ones using the BGP additional paths command, um, which here, let me do a show run section router BGP. I didn't need the do there. 
So that's that first part is we're setting the capability with the send. Then we're selecting all here for the um, our candidate paths. Then you have to go to the neighbor and then you actually set the advertise policy so you can say which ones we're gonna advertise. So I hope it was clear. I hope I hope you at least understand what ad path is and how it's used for. And I would really recommend getting your hands dirty and, and playing with it, seeing what you can break, see how different things work um, with the different advertised policies. So that's it for this video and I hope to see you on the next one.